What's good, y'all? It's your boy Dan. We back with another one, man. NBA Young Boy update. 1090 Jake does what 1090 Jake does. He does detail research. A lot of people don't like him, think he might be infiltrating the culture and whatnot. But one thing you can't say is that he does not do his due diligence and lay it all out for you to decide. So after he put out this expose, figuring out what's going on with NBA Young Boy, whack ways in, man. Let's get to the content. That's what they're going to come with. They're going to say, well, why didn't he just go to the doctor and get prescribed for whatever he was diagnosed for? Right? And the audio, he said that he was already pre he, uh, he was already prescribed it already. So he, he definitely had a script of his own, but he just wanted more, huh? That's what it is. It said that he had a script already for it, that he was already, he, he even said that, like, yeah, I, I take promethazine because I got it from a doctor. Hey, whack, how, how do you, how do you beat the the firearms too? He had access. He yeah, he had, access. yeah. And he said he moved it, and he said that because his fingerprints was on it. That, yeah, that's a back. Oh. I don't even know why Blood was even talking to people. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, the phone, shut the fuck up. Yeah, whack, that, I, I moved it. But they was going to run DNA tests on it, so eventually it would have It don't matter, nigga. Let them deal with that, nigga. Yeah. Hey, I'm not... You finna get it out of my mouth talking about, yeah, I touched it. You ain't getting that. He just admitted to yeah. having access and touching a firearm when it being a felon and being, you can't have them around, no such they thing. They don't even got to yeah. run DNA yeah. test now. Not at all. They don't. Real quick, y'all got to remember, not only did he use somebody else's identity, not only did he send people to the pharmacy to pick it up in his own vehicles, he was also on the phone when they had a problem trying to clarify, and that's when they caught him with the ax instead of ask, A-X-E instead of A-S-K, with the Southern, uh, what is that, Baton Rouge or whatever accent, so obvious. Anyway, let's get back to it. Nigga, but he the one on the phone authorizing as a fake doctor. That's so Wack said that's about 20, why. huh? You said about 20, huh, Wack? That's a year, we ain't, we ain't gonna see him least. Between that and his other case? Yeah, 15 to 20. Yeah, I say that. 10 to 20. Right around 15, 16 years, something like that. He need that lawyer out of Atlanta, bro. That's a state. Brian still can't state man. that. Busy, busy lawyer. And I'm going to be real. That's if they don't pop up with some more. You know they stay working. And now the floodgates is open on them. They, they looking for anything. Yeah, that's bad work. How long he been on the house arrest? About three years, two, three years. And that was for some charges? Yep. And so he's still fighting. That was his sentence or he's still fighting? No, he's still fighting. He's still fighting. Yep. So this just compounded. Man, what kind of lawyers you got, man? Yeah, three years, no problems, man. He got a good chance of getting time served. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, That's yeah. It. But now you got a whole nother case. Boy, that, that case, he's going to go in. They're going to say, hold on, Yana. We got some new. What? Yeah, we're going to postpone. Matter of fact, we're going to run them all together. All right, y'all, man. Appreciate y'all tuning in, man. Keep in mind, Clubhouse is still rolling, man. Come on over there. Get involved with the conversation. We had a nice conversation. I ain't put it up on the channel, but about NBA young boy. Who's in his corner? Does he have support? Is he making his own decisions? And that he just don't show the capacity to be able to make responsible choices. And this is just another example. So we'll see how it plays out. Like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy, The Answer. Until next time, we out.